All right, welcome back. So this is the second video for the Gripen. And on this video, I'm going to talk more about the setup of the aircraft. Okay. Um, so the book rates, it tells you aileron low rate of 17 millimeters, aileron high rate of 23 millimeters. But they don't give you a elevator number so they're really not telling you the elevons which it has elevons and not separate ailerons and elevators they really don't give you good usable numbers for those numbers they just give you a aileron rate no elevator rate the rudder rate that they give you is 27 millimeters low 32 millimeters high and that does work because there is a singular rudder on here. So that's a number that you can use. And then lastly, they give you canard numbers of 27 millimeters and 35 millimeters. But again, they don't tell you if for the canards, if that's canard elevator, if that's canard aileron or canard roll and pitch, uh, the appropriate terms, or if that's a total number for the canards for roll and pitch okay so it is a little bit confusing for what they're doing they also don't give you any expo numbers um so that's on yourself as to how you like it so what i did was my initial flights i ended up with um triple rates on my transmitter and Let's go do the elevon, the canards first. The canards I ended up with um, a 6080-100 rate, and that gave me my pitch canards, and I've got my mid rate right here. It gave me 13, 18, and 25 for my pitch, so. Uh, let's see, that's low rate, 13, 18, 25. And it gave me, for roll, it gave me, oh, I'm sorry, it was 20, 25, and 30 for pitch, and 13, 18, 25 for roll. Okay, so again, to go back on that, pitch was 20, 25, 30, and roll was, is 13, 18, 25. Now, I thought that was pretty good, but then to experiment, I added um, a little bit additional to that in a different mode, and in my higher rate mode, I left the same um, elevons, which I'll talk about in a minute, and I ended up with a high rate um, canard mode of just elevator increase of 25, 32, and 38. So if I go to my other mode, my high rate mode for just pitch, I'm a little bit higher, 25, 32, and 38. Again, my, my regular mode is 20, 25, and 30. My higher pitch canards are 25, 32, and 38. If we move back to the tail of the aircraft and we look at the elevons, the elevons I have as for ailerons, for roll, I have low rate of 12, mid of 17, high of 25. And for elevator, I have, trying to get that even, 17, 21, and 25. Okay, those are my rates for the canards, or for the elevons. Rudder throw is 23, 
32, 40, and that stays like that all the way. Um, my expos, um, my expos are 20, 30, and 40 percent expo on elevator or pitch and roll, and no expo on rudder. I don't like expo on rudder, that's me. Okay, um, I also programmed in some air brakes. Okay, and if we look at this and I give it air brakes, it gives a whole lot of down canard and quite a bit of up elevator or up pitch. Okay, my air brakes numbers are the canards are down 48 millimeters and all the canard measurements are at the front of the canard and my Elevon up or up pitch is 20 millimeters and doing that it does fly level okay so uh, while I typically use this on the ground for braking it is something I can use in flight okay um, while I'm here please notice that I also added some 3d printed sidewinders to the aircraft I thought that the rails on the out end really looked kind of boring okay so that's that um and i guess while i'm here to preclude having to do a third video let's go ahead and talk about the thrust vectoring okay i've added the thrust vectoring it's painted to match and if you notice i do have the plastic from the non-thrust vectoring nozzle on my um, thrust vectoring um, let me say that the um, thrust vectoring does rob a little bit of power, but I think it is a good addition. To balance my aircraft, initially, I needed to add 80 grams of weight to get my aircraft to balance. And when I added the thrust vectoring nozzle, um, I took all of that out and the thrust vectoring nozzle was slightly heavier, about 10 grams heavier, than the original nozzle plus the 80 grams of weight. So it really ended up being weight wise a very good addition. All right, um, as far as my throws, I'm just going to show you the full rate throws on the thrust vectoring. And if we look at that, I've got 18 millimeters of rudder. Oops, let's go ahead and turn it on. 18 millimeters of rudder either way. Okay, which is not quite full travel. Okay, and I also have 18 millimeters of pitch, which again is not quite full travel. Okay, 18 millimeters left right of rudder or yaw, 18 millimeters of pitch or elevator. Okay, and I happen to have my uh, air brakes still on. Um, so that should give you an idea of how I have set up my aircraft. If anybody wants to know any of my radio settings to get those numbers, I'll be happy to give those to you. But um, each individual aircraft is slightly different uh, because of radio servos or whatever with what your radio setup will be. So that's an overview of what I've got on my aircraft. I have to say that it flies exceptional like this. Um, the 8S really helps as far as speed and vertical. And the thrust vectoring just makes it so much more fun. Have a great day.